Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. The year is 1852. Our main topic, Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel Uncle Tom's Cabin, which had a profound effect on attitudes toward African Americans and slavery in the United States, was published. In 1852, Harriet Beecher Stowe's novel Uncle Tom's Cabin was published, and it had a profound effect on attitudes toward African Americans and slavery in the United States. The novel depicted the harsh conditions experienced by enslaved African Americans in the South, and its powerful narrative helped to galvanize the abolitionist movement in the North. The book was a bestseller, with millions of copies sold in the United States and Great Britain, and it was adapted into a popular play. Context At the time of the novel's publication, slavery was still legal in many parts of the United States, particularly in the South. The institution of slavery had been a contentious issue in American society for decades, with many people arguing for its abolition while others defended it as a necessary part of the economy and social order. The Fugitive Slave Act of 1850, which required the return of escaped slaves to their owners, had further heightened tensions between the North and South. Historical significance Uncle Tom's Cabin was a cultural phenomenon that helped to shift public opinion against slavery. The novel's vivid portrayal of the cruel and inhumane treatment of enslaved people shocked and moved many readers, and it helped to personalize the issue of slavery for a wider audience. The book's success also helped to fuel the debate over slavery, contributing to the growing tensions between the North and South that ultimately led to the Civil War. In addition to its impact on the abolitionist movement, Uncle Tom's Cabin also had a significant literary and cultural impact. It was one of the first novels to address the issue of slavery in a direct and powerful way, and it helped to establish the novel as a form of social commentary. The book's success also helped to pave the way for future generations of American writers, including Mark Twain and William Faulkner, who would go on to explore similar themes of race, identity, and social justice in their own works. Overall, the publication of Uncle Tom's Cabin was a significant event in American history, helping to galvanize the abolitionist movement and shift public opinion against slavery. Its powerful narrative and vivid portrayal of the harsh realities of slavery helped to personalize the issue for a wider audience, contributing to the growing tensions between the North and South that would ultimately lead to the Civil War. The year is 1760. On the news, the Great Boston Fire of 1760 destroys 349 buildings. Good evening, and welcome to our evening news broadcast. Tonight, we take a look back at a significant event in American history, the Great Boston Fire of 1760. On March 20 of that year, a devastating fire swept through the city of Boston, destroying 349 buildings and leaving over a thousand people homeless. The fire started in the area between modern-day Washington Street and Fort Hill, and quickly spread to several ships in port. The fire was a major conflagration that had significant consequences for the city and its inhabitants. It was a time of great hardship and loss, and it would take many years for the city to recover from the damage. However, the fire also brought out the resilience and determination of the people of Boston, who worked together to rebuild their city and move forward. The Great Boston Fire of 1760 is an important event in American history because it highlights the challenges and struggles faced by cities in the colonial era. It also serves as a reminder of the importance of fire safety and the need for adequate emergency preparedness measures. In conclusion, the Great Boston Fire of 1760 was a devastating event that had a profound impact on the city of Boston and its people. It is a reminder of the importance of community resilience and the ability to overcome adversity in the face of disaster. Thank you for joining us tonight, and we hope you have a better understanding of this significant event in American history. 
Our selected holiday for today, International Francophonie Day, Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, and its related observances, UN French Language Day, United Nations. International Francophonie Day, celebrated on March 20th, is a day to recognize and celebrate the cultural and linguistic diversity of French-speaking countries around the world. It is also known as UN French Language Day, and it is observed annually by the United Nations. The day was established in 2010 to promote the use of French as one of the six official languages of the UN, and to celebrate multilingualism and cultural diversity within the organization. The cultural significance of International Francophonie Day lies in its ability to bring together people from different countries and cultures who share a common language and heritage. French is spoken by over 220 million people worldwide, and it is an official language in many countries, including Canada, Switzerland, Belgium, and France. The day serves as a reminder of the importance of language and culture in shaping our identities and fostering global understanding. Moreover, International Francophonie Day is an opportunity to celebrate the rich cultural heritage of French-speaking countries, including their literature, music, art, and cuisine. It is a day to recognize the contributions of French-speaking communities to the world's cultural diversity and to promote mutual respect and understanding among nations. In conclusion, International Francophonie Day is a celebration of language, culture, and diversity. It is a day to recognize the importance of French as a global language and to promote multilingualism and cultural understanding within the United Nations and beyond. By celebrating this day, we can foster greater appreciation and respect for the cultural heritage of French-speaking countries and promote a more inclusive and diverse global community. On this day, in 1968, A. J. Jacobs, American journalist and author, was born. A. J. Jacobs is a remarkable individual, whose unique approach to life has made him a standout in the world of journalism and beyond. As an editor-at-large for Esquire and a seasoned author, Jacobs has established himself as a leading voice in the industry. His impressive resume includes stints at the Antioch Daily Ledger and Entertainment Weekly, showcasing his versatility and dedication to his craft. Jacob's success extends beyond his professional accomplishments. He has gained widespread recognition for his unconventional lifestyle experiments, which he chronicles in his books and lectures. His willingness to push boundaries and challenge the status quo has earned him a reputation as a thought leader and innovator. One of Jacob's most notable achievements is his ability to connect with a wide range of audiences. His relatable and engaging writing style has captured the attention of readers from diverse backgrounds, making him a beloved figure in the literary world. Additionally, his TED Talks have been viewed by millions, further solidifying his position as a respected voice in contemporary culture. Jacob's impact extends beyond the realm of journalism and literature. He has inspired countless individuals to embrace their curiosity and pursue their passions, fostering a sense of community and collaboration. His commitment to exploring new ideas and experiences has encouraged others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positivity and growth. In conclusion, A.J. Jacobs is a true original, whose unique approach to life and work has made him a force to be reckoned with. His dedication to his craft, his willingness to take risks, and his ability to connect with others have solidified his place as a respected and influential figure in our society. We remember the life of Oscar Baum, bohemian writer, born 1883, who died on this date in 1941. Oscar Baum was a renowned music educator and writer who made significant contributions to the world of music and literature. Born in 1883 in Bohemia, which is now part of the Czech Republic, Baum was a German-speaking Czech who spent most of his life in Prague. Despite the challenges he faced as a member of a minority group, Baum's passion for music and writing helped him rise above the obstacles and make a lasting impact on his community. Baum's love for music began at a young age, and he went on to study music theory and composition at the Prague Conservatory. After completing his studies, he worked as a music teacher and conductor, inspiring countless young people to pursue careers in music. Baum's dedication to music education was unwavering, and he was known for his innovative teaching methods, which made learning music fun and accessible to all. In addition to his work in music education, Baum was also a prolific writer. He wrote numerous articles and books on music theory, history, and criticism, which were widely read and respected by his peers. Baum's writing style was engaging and informative, making complex musical concepts easy to understand for readers of all levels. 
His contributions to music literature helped to promote a greater appreciation and understanding of music, not only in the Czech Republic but also around the world. Baum's impact on his community was not limited to his work in music education and literature. He was also a vocal advocate for social justice and human rights, using his platform to speak out against injustices and promote equality for all. Baum's commitment to social justice was unwavering, and his efforts helped to create a more inclusive and equitable society in the Czech Republic. Despite his many achievements, Baum's life was not without challenges. As a German-speaking Czech, he faced discrimination and prejudice, particularly during World War II, when the Nazi regime targeted minority groups. However, Baum remained steadfast in his beliefs and continued to promote peace, understanding, and tolerance through his work. Today, Baum's legacy lives on through the countless musicians, educators, and writers who have been inspired by his work. His contributions to music education, literature, and social justice have made a lasting impact on his community and the world at large. As we remember Baum's life and achievements, we are reminded of the power of passion, dedication, and perseverance in the face of adversity. This was Today in History, an AIA podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.